Hey, I'm, it's early, but I wanted to do one more video concerning yesterday. And if you don't like my videos, seriously, you don't have to watch them. <laughs> That's my insecurity. That's my strength reversed. <laughs> Anyways, I bullet pointed. It's Tuesday. Anyways, don't be loud, birds. <laughs> I um, woke up thinking about those cards I pulled last night. So all night long, and I think that, hey, Luke, say hi. Look, look, look. It's like, come over here. Come over here. <laughs> That's Luke. That's my son. Anyways, all night I had these cards sitting out with my stones on them, which I have a citrine, which I love for the solar plexus chakra, a clear quartz, which is just almost like a um, selenite to me. It just, it's just click, good crown chakra stuff, good dream, lucid dreaming stuff, control of your dreams, control of the symbols. <laughs> and I did a, I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, like an apophyllite or something. And then I've got rose quartz, which is really good for the heart. Um, so I had those sitting on those cards all night. And I have a feeling that has to do with why I had like epiphany about what it meant. So this is my journal. I have, you know, this journal for 2022 and this journal, which is my calendar, business calendar, all this. So three different perspectives. This is about work business. This is about nutrition, um, spirit, like the details of my life, the little weird little inconveniences even that make me find the magic because I think in our inconveniences, there is magic like being stuck in a checkout line for 20 minutes. I meditate when I'm in that, those situations. And then this is my, my journal my my henry miller infinite jest journal so i did some bullet points oh these are i saved the flyers from church too like i drew that and then um, this is the one from this sunday so i saved those and put them into context so first of all i was thinking about what these cards meant in context to how I felt yesterday. And the Hierophant makes me think of collective consciousness. And Star Trek, of course, the Borg. Resistance is futile. You will be assimilated. We are, in a way, a collective consciousness, a zeitgeist. Uh, our social system, I loved sociology class when I was in college because it just really, especially with social media, how much we affect each other, how much we influence each other. Think about how divisive the world is today with COVID and politics. And I mean, that's just increased through our collective consciousness, our need for individuality, but then this collective complaining that we do. So pulling this card, which I had it upside down, we'll put it, it was reversed in that context. What did that yesterday, the King of Wands, the Strength, and the Hierophant have to do with how I felt yesterday? Well, I think it has a lot to do with the fact that I am here in the moment, but I've accessed the grid through social media in ways that I haven't done before. I have always been pretty active on Facebook, pretty active social media person. Um, I mean, it's not out of loneliness. I don't really strive for comments or messages. I really just like to express myself. I'm an artist, that's what I do. The art can come through a painting. The art can come through what I post on Facebook. The art can come through what I journal. So I think this is kind of a new expression for me. And I think that's what, you know, I, I felt like I, I'm, I've got to stay committed to doing this for part of my journey in the labyrinth. And yesterday was like, yeah, you don't have time for that. And everybody thinks you're silly and why, you know? And so I was having a lot of doubt, a lot of insecurity, a lot of, um, you need to be an adult 
and do what you're supposed to do and pay the bills and go to work and be miserable like everybody else and Christmas sucks. That's how I was supposed to be. But I, my inner soul, my, my energy doesn't want that. That's, I'm an artist. So, um, did you know Jerry Ryan's from Paducah? Hashtag partake in Paducah. Another thing, I'm going to do a video about how freaking awesome Paducah is and all my favorite things. All my favorite things in Paducah, like the sound of music. Uh, right, off the, right off the top of my head, I think of Munnell's Donuts. Go over there. Shout out to Munnell's Donuts. <laughs> Shout out to McCracken County Library. The most bad, I've lived in quite a few places. I've lived in Taiwan. No library has been like this one over here. So, which I'm like uh, two buildings down from. So, um, I have a Paducah album on Facebook and I try to like find things. The, the ginkgo trees at the health department. Favorite things. Sound of music, man. Okay, so. Have you ever walked into a room, I wrote this down, and felt sensitive to the atmosphere? I had a client the other day, she came in, and she's like, I, there was another client here, and she just said, I felt tangled, I felt tangled. She's an empath, she's empathic. She can feel other people's energies, insecurities. Um, sometimes our own insecurities can manifest that even more. Um, hormones, hormones are directly related to the chakra grid system. So, um, we're doing that collectively with social media, the grid, Tron. So anyways, again, coming back to that Hierophant, the strength, the King of Wands yesterday. So how often do you quiet your busy mind and listen to your subconscious? So we're gonna go back to Star Trek, Vulcans, telepaths. There was a my mind to your mind my thoughts to your thoughts. Vulcans have learned how to live in a very logical world and suppress their emotions. And I, I kind of, meditation for me is that. It's like taking my emotions, taking my body, taking my flesh out of the experience and tapping into my subconscious, my inner thoughts, my gut instincts. So um, strength comes from that. You're not so vulnerable. You're not so insecure when you're tapping into that, when you're in the moment. Every time I feel insecure or like somebody's watching, you ever feel like somebody's watching me? Anyways, I tap into the moment. That's what I'm talking about, meditating in the Dollar General. So, um, I hope that made sense. I was uh, come up from lucid dreaming and that was what was on my mind. I also do my playlists in this journal. So like, this is like one from Sunday. And see in the middle, I loved it. I put something powerful up tempo that will lead into an encore. So, you know, that's how I deal with my playlists. I put them on here too. Uh, you know, go back in the music, the perfect place to go. Uh, gypsy, pay attention, a spark behind the eyes, perform rituals of dance and music. I am just gone in the music. I just put, there. then I love this. There's some real Mac, Mac, Machiavellian shit going on. People really seem to not like one another. <laughs> yeah, that's going back to that collective consciousness. Um, anyways, um, uh, Today, I mentioned Once Twice Melody by Beach House. That's her new album coming out. I cannot wait seeing Beach House in concert. I've done a painting of Beach House. Lazuli, Wild, Sparks, Myth, so good. So good. If you have not, um, I will get Beach House CDs and have them in this shop. If you look it up and check it out, I will put a link to my favorite videos in this uh, when I post this on Facebook. So, I love it. I'm reading this John Lurie book. It's going to be late. I don't think they have late fees at the library anymore, though, but I've got to take that back. I have another book, that poetry book, I really didn't get into and I didn't read. I'm going to take it back today. But John Lurie is an artist. He was in the Lounge Lizards, and there was, I love it, there's music. There is love in it. Music that worships and exclaims the beautiful weirdness in this life. 
Anyways, I, I, my, I, one thing else I do when I wake up in the morning is I look at my memories on Facebook and I started memorizing the symbolism in the uh, Oracle decks about this time last year and I pulled the High Priestess. So the High Priestess is going to be in context to what I've learned from these three cards yesterday. This mindfulness, this understanding of where my emotions are at, where my chakra grid's at, where my hormones are at, where my thirsts and desires are at today. So the high priestess, um, what are you supposed to do with money? What are you, oh, wait, 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 okay. Enter, okay, the high priestess, sorry, sorry. Entertain thoughts that span the, the view. No, 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 that's not it either. Oh, I've already touched on it. Everything I talked about, Never mind. <laughs> I will be better with the PowerPoints. I would not be good in a business meeting, but business meetings are the biggest load of junk ever. I don't want to say anything bad about anything in my past, but this was an experience in my past at a place I worked and we had business meetings. And every week, the guy I worked for would try to encourage his staff to be nice to the customers. And I just sit there and go, how hard is it to be nice to people? I don't know. I've never had a problem being nice to people. I've never had a problem being honest with people. Yesterday I had a dude call me about my dad, about the VA, and I've, God bless the VA and what they do for veterans, but it was a waste of time. It got me frustrated, it got me stressed out, and I was honest with them. I'm like, listen man, I am at work, I have a life. What is this in relevance to in any way? gonna help my dad because you calling him is gonna make him upset and I was just it was just a vibration of just nonsense and meetings do that it seems like you talk and you got all these great ideas but nobody implements them so I try to implement my journal exercise and um, anyways there's another album <laughs> That is really good. That the war on drugs. I don't live here anymore. I will have it in the shop. You need to. You need to check it out. You need to go on YouTube. There, I think they have uh, tons of videos. I just posted one on Facebook this morning. So I think that's about it. I think. Okay, these are the thoughts for today. What are you supposed to do with money? What are you supposed to do with this life? What does adulting mean to you? Are you doing it just to go through the, the grind? Or does it have meaning? Is there something deeper? For me, there's something deeper. It's not just going through the grind. And I like to find purpose in why I have money, why I need things, why I try, why I show up every day. And I'm showing up every day in this context as well. And I keep on, I'll keep on doing it until I feel like it's not relevant anymore. When it turns into something that is not helpful, not helping me grow. And there's been times in my life where I've noticed, boom, take that out. That's not, this isn't a growing situation anymore. So I'm going to journal these things. I mean, Jonah, by the way, Rushing Water by Sting mentions Jonah. Um, my life is a powerful mission, uh, is a powerful mission. I shine the light, but the light doesn't start with me. Little jazz. <laughs> I must reflect humble grace. I must reflect humble grace. Purpose, power, character. Anyways, a season of questions. Anyways, I say anyways too much. Let's pull the rock. What's my stone today? Citrine. <laughs> I just pulled that. This crystal is all about abundance. Carry, create, carve, and receive. That's an awesome thought for the day, you guys. And I hope you have an awesome Tuesday. Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday's gone with the wind. Lots of songs about Tuesday. Just saying. <laughs> Bye.